one thing and that I love about your work you're so you think out of the box <laughs> <laughs> I love it I love it how about um how about Devon Morgan <laughs> okay well um hi I Jean uh, my name is Devon Morgan Howdy. um I am a voice actor myself Ooh. and I've recently started Matthew's EP cartoons, um, my first one being Dust Skinny Views Devon, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty much going to start in more in the near future. Ooh, very um, cool. My question to you is that, like, when you, okay, hold on. when you, um, was, like, did you do one of the voices for one of your cartoons, the recent one that we watched? The, like, the first, the, like, the first cartoon that we saw? Which cartoons oh, I mean, on, on, on the cartoons you're seeing today or, or before or today? The ones that we saw. Today? Uh, no, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't do any voices on these. Uh, they're, uh, they're doing all the voices. In fact, I forgot to tell you on, uh, uh, on Bubbles Troubles, that scene uh, you guys seem to like uh, where the, uh, the bad dog sticking his head in the doghouse and the, the good dog just sticks his head out. Uh, <laughs> Those two dogs were all voiced by the same guy. Ah! Wow. And, and uh, most people think it's two different voices. It's Kwame. His name is Kwame Ricks, and he's an amazing voice. Oh, and one, one more thing was, uh, you know, when uh, uh, the big dog is trying to bite, uh, uh, and you hear the bang, 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 really sound. Loud. Yeah. We make our own sound effects. So, so that sound effect was, uh, uh, I, I took a metal chair, and I took, uh, that we had a uh, a piece of uh, uh, tubing, a uh, uh, PVC pipe, and it was bang, 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 and that, that was. Oh <laughs> my god! And uh, every once in a while, we come up with our own sound effects. Like uh, we, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, we we got. Uh, uh, I guess you didn't see this film, but uh, we we had one where this guy is is uh, uh, at, at Yosemite and he's climbing that that the. the oh! Oh, can 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 you can you put can can you put can you can you put 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 can and then the whole mountain just uh, crumbles from that one piton out from under him and he falls. Uh, and uh, we were looking around for a mountain crumbling sound on, on the internet and there, uh, there wasn't any mountain crumbling sounds. So it turned out that uh, every other day I shared this room with an art teacher and she had uh, this box that looked like a, a popcorn box, a, a square popcorn box, it's plastic. And she kept all her scissors in there and this, uh, one of the guys who's assisting me as a teacher, he goes, shakes the thing against the microphone, and it sounded like a mountain falling down, so we used it for that. <laughs> and then uh, we had another one called the Blam Canyon, where, where uh, uh, the, the, there's no echo in the Grand Canyon, so the forest ranger has to do, be the echo for anybody that yells something. Right. And, uh, and so, so uh, we uh, had the, uh, when one of the... Uh, guests is insulted and walking off in a huff. Uh, we wanted to have dirt sound. Well, the only footsteps we could find was on, on uh, uh, linoleum, you know, hear, hear an echoing down the hall. And uh, we had a, a, a door that there's this little uh, burlap bag and uh, they're always using it to keep the door open. And it tur turned out it had charcoal in it. And it was the thing for, uh, I guess, sterilizing something. And I picked the thing up and I went, Boom, 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 boom. And it sounded like dirt, uh, footsteps and dirt. And and the other thing, we, we had another one uh, uh, where uh, we had horses. And the old thing they used to do in radio was uh, they had coconut shells uh, to, to make a sound like horses. 
we didn't have any coconut shells, but I remember there was a party like a week back uh, in the office and uh, uh, they had these plastic champagne glasses. So I took the stems off and just had the bowls and went cloppity, 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 clop. And then we lowered the pitch and it sounded like uh, horses hooves. So uh, it's fun making up sound effects. Uh, <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Kevin Ewing. Yeah. Um, I really liked um, what you were doing on those on cartoon films. I think I think you really made it real uh, with the, the sound effects and, and things that you've been using. I loved that moment inside the plot of the of the cartoon thing mm -hmm. from um, um Bobo Troubles for the mm -hmm. ones. Yeah, and then I got, and I found uh, uh found out about people doing the um the sound effects from from that and, and that made it much more real and now and, and, and wow and that's really um really amazing that you got into the um the, 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 what, what you got into a lot and I love that. Exactly what yeah. Kevin said, too. When did you yeah. know, you know, when did you get into animation? Well, me? Uh, yeah. Well, it was uh, 1978. Uh, uh, I just got divorced, and I thought, uh, uh, I was up in Oregon, and I thought, uh, uh, <laughs> every, some, suddenly everything uh, uh, that I thought uh, in my life was just suddenly upended, and I thought, I got nothing to lose. I'm going to head for uh, Los Angeles and <laughs> see if I can make it in cartoons. And I was lucky enough, uh, uh, the second week I was there, uh, they were uh, it was just just pure luck. They needed anybody who was breathing uh, at, at, uh, at uh, Bakshi to finish Lord of the Rings on time. So, so I got in there and then and that, that, that got me in. Now, what were you doing before animation? Uh, the, the closest I had to anything, if, if, if I worked in a film lab, uh, just a, which, uh, of organizing film uh, up in Portland, Oregon. The guy that did the California Raisins, he, he, he uh, had all these films processed there. So, uh, so that, that's the closest I came. I, 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 and I actually tried to get down to Hollywood three times. Mm. And the, 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 the third time was the charm. Um, Right. Persistence. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew Payne. You never give up. Uh, yeah. Um, so the designs of the characters in the movies that you've shown today, are they your students' designs or do they sometimes give you an idea and you design I, I, the characters? I, I can. I can have, I can help, 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 I when he when he gave a uh bubble trouble yeah he he had a he had a good way your favorite can movie can movie yes uh so so uh him and we so uh so uh so uh idea and we have a a a a a so no we have dream dream writing and what dream dream writing was yeah the uh we we had very old very old dream they dream came on me up and came on me up. Yeah, well, uh, uh, 
on Bubbles Troubles, I was still draw, drawing th and having them as assistants. But all, all these other films, uh, except for that one, uh, they're all drawing it all themselves. I'll, I'll, I'll tell them, yeah, you ought to you know, make, make that nose a little straighter or something. But they're, they're doing all the drawing and they're doing all the designing too. Now, do you treat, besides teaching the animation, uh, uh, screenwriting or, or what, what are the different classes you teach? Well, uh, I've been teaching, uh, well, I, I teach all kinds of stuff now, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I like that I, I teach uh, voice acting so I can I teach them how to uh, do voices because uh, I, I learned from Dallas McCannon who did all the voices for the Archie cartoons. And, and uh, he, he, uh, so I learned all the tricks that he, he had told me. And so teaching that and then screenwriting, so come up, show them how to come up with an idea and then and how to how to stretch it out and make it work. And uh, then, uh, then I'll show them how to draw. The other thing I'm, I'm doing now uh, is I noticed a lot of people when they draw, they always draw from the front. Uh -huh. uh, and and uh, so I've got a class now where I'm drawing your character from every angle. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm drawing character from you know, every angle. Can I, can I say something on that? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, Brian, mm, angry, angry, neck, neck, neck. He, he, he can write everything. Snake, he, he want, he wanted, uh, him to do it from a corner, corner, right into a corner, a corner, right into a right thing, corner, corner, right into a... Yeah, well, uh, yeah, well, uh, the thing is that the, I, I uh, actually one of the bus drivers that I was like, why does everybody just drop in the front? And he, he says that's because they're they always see themselves in the mirror. Because nobody nobody's got a you know they got a mirror like this. Nobody's got a mirror like in a clothing store where you can see yourself from every angle. Right. And they, but the funny thing is uh, everybody's taking selfies and they always take selfies like this. Nobody takes a selfie like this or this or this so they can see the, all the way around. So or the bottom uh, of their foot. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm, so I'm trying. I'm, I'm breaking them, uh, breaking into that habit, so they can start seeing the world three dimensionally. Uh, hey, uh, this is a, a question for Jared. Jared Kalb, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jared, how many uh, productions have you worked on with Gene? Well, all right, all right. You know, you know, uh, you know. I can't, uh, I can't count them all, but I've, I've been. Uh, I've been really having the with a lot of these you could be uh it's just in the ball go and he was um he was gonna come make a cartoon and not only cartoon but he was gonna make a movie uh with with other other uh other like and, uh, and, uh, can you help me? Yeah, well, I think Jared's probably probably a twenty or thirty cartoons he's, he's helped me out on. This it's is Jared, Jared, I call Jared my right hand man. It, there's a because uh, we're we're always doing something technical on the computer, and and I'm always uh, uh, running into some technical problem where I'm swearing a blue streak. We all get into those moods, don't yeah, we? Yeah, and uh, and, uh, and and Jared. Uh, even even when I'm not, or even when he isn't here, when I'm home, I still hear this voice. Sounds just like Jared saying, "Look it up on YouTube, Jim." <laughs> <laughs> I know. And it, Jared always helped me find the answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Austin Vance. Hi, Hi. I'm uh, Austin Vance, and I'm an uh, animator as well. Cool. And I got a question. What is your what is your favorite part of the whole animation process? Well, uh, probably thinking up the idea. Uh, when you're actually drawing it, that's the that's where the work comes in. But thinking up the idea is the fun, real real fun part. And, uh, but. Uh, the, th the thing is the way the way the, the, the your brain works there's a left left brain and a right brain and there's a rational brain and there's a the little kid kind of brain the, the right side of the brain 
And uh, I, I think I'm more right brain than, than left brain. I'm not logical. So, so right brain people are good at starting a project and terrible at finishing it. Left brain people are terrible at starting a project but great at finishing it. So uh, uh, not too many people are balanced. <laughs> but uh, so I, 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 I'm good at starting a project and then I have to just work at it to finish it. So. You know, I, I have a couple of things. I mean, you wrote a book, how to, how to get a job in animation and keep it. And, yeah. And then you also uh, have this film created equal, the art and artist about the band. Yeah, that's, that's the documentary. Uh, uh, it, it's, you can see it on, on uh, gumroad.com. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the Julie Newmar narrated uh, created equal uh, the art and artists of Alchemia. It focuses on four uh, artists uh, of Alchemia, and uh, uh, oh, the other thing with Julie is uh, for the one of the, one of the breakthroughs we had was uh, Julie, uh, her son uh, John, has been having birthday parties at the United Cerebral Palsy Center in, in Culver City, and uh, so he. Uh, uh, every year uh, until this pandemic started, came along, uh, for the what, five, five, six years, we, we've been uh, we've been doing. Uh, uh, she she sends up the raw footage, like about four hours of footage, right. and these these guys, uh, they they we look at it and we boil it down to about three minutes, and these guys are getting to be really good editors. Uh, yeah, you can lose that some part. Yeah, they, we they get it cut down. To, they're really good editors now. They, That's know, amazing. they know how to drag and drop and, and uh, where, to, uh, where to cut, and, you know. Well, it's an art to take four yeah. hours of footage and make it into three minutes. Yeah, yeah. These, these yeah. guys have been doing it for about five years. Uh, mm. Yeah. I've, uh, I've seen a couple of those, too. I've seen a couple of her birthday parties, and I went, ah, oh, that's Jean's edit, <laughs> you know, and yeah. Alphamea. Yeah, these these guys are amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, did it? Did uh, was there any other one more thing that you wanted oh, to? Uh, can I can I show a couple of films? I, I we got two two more. Oh, sure, yeah. sure. Whatever uh, you like. Uh, all right, let me see. If I, uh, let me share screen. Uh, hold, actually, let me load it up here so I don't have too much dead air. And you know why you're loading up? The, I'm going to throw out a name to you, which I saw on your site. Okay. Pickle puss. Oh, pickle puss! Yeah, that's a <laughs> pickle puss. Uh, I haven't done anything on pickle puss for a little while, but uh, pickle puss. Uh, every Wednesday, I was coming up with a new pickle puss cartoon. He's basically based on my uh, stand-up comedy r uh, routines, and so I, I would give him a, a one-liner once a week. And uh, he's a he's a uh, sarcastic cat who just kind of has my voice. Uh, I love it. So let's see. Uh, let's. Uh, this is full screen, so uh, here's share screen. This is called the Hokey Pokey Hotline. Oh, oh I love this one. Uh, oh, you've seen this one? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, I see this one, I too. I, I love this one. Yeah. Uh, I think it's really funny. <laughs> Hokey Pokey Hotline. I'm having trouble with my Hokey Pokey. What's the trouble, sir? I don't know my hokey from my pokey. Can you walk me through it? Yes, I can walk you through it. Now put your left foot in. What? Put your left foot in, sir. Left foot? Your left foot. Are you putting your left foot in, sir? Yes, I am. Take your left foot out. Did you take your left foot out, sir? Yes, I did. Now put your left foot back in. Okay, okay. And shake it all about. Did you put your left foot in, sir? Yes, I did. Are you shaking it all about? Yes, I am. Now put your right foot in. <laughs> what happened, sir? I was still shaking my left foot. And then you said, put my right foot in. I had both feet in the air. I'm sorry, sir. I should have told you to take your left foot out first. That's okay. 
Cause your left foot out. Yeah, put in. Now put your right foot in. Okay. Now put your left foot in. Okay. Do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around. What happened now? You told me to turn yourself around. So I did a cartwheel go on the table. I should have specified. I meant keep your feet on the floor when you turn yourself around. Let's try it again. No thanks, you help me enough already. My back can't stand any more help. You're welcome, sir. Call back any time. The Hokey Pokey Hotline, that's what we're all about. <laughs> Kimberly did the voice on that one. Uh, the one thing I forgot to, uh, on back on Bubbles Troubles, the the old lady that owns the dog, that was Sophia, the the the, the girl that uh, wrote the wrote the thing. She she did the voice of the old lady. Love it. Uh, cool. And uh, let let me show one more. In the, uh, so you you do you have different writers for all the films? I these I've been writing. Uh, 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 They'll, they'll, they'll throw in a joke here every once in a while, but sometimes it's a little, uh, if, we, if we have to wait to get an idea, we'll be waiting for a while. So, so <laughs> just keep it going. And then, then, we'll, then we have something for everybody to draw. Uh, so uh, let's see, we'll let me get that big. And then, uh, am I still sharing screen or do I have to do it? Not again? yet. Okay, let me try, uh, wait a minute here, oops. Where did, where did my, there it is. With Wilfer here, we're at the Senate. They are about to repeal law of gravity. Speakers calling the meeting to order. Let's take you to the floor right now. Not that floor. The chair recognizes the senator from Alabama. Mr. Speaker, I propose we repeal the law of gravity. It's holding back business. That's the stupidest idea I ever heard. I second it. All in favor, say aye. 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 Are you kidding me? All opposed, say nay. Nay. The ayes have it. The motion carries. What? The Senate has just repealed the law of gravity. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something's happening on the floor. Senators are floating up in the air. It's unbelievable. Oh, no. They're headed for the CLA. Oh, no. They're crashing through the CLA. They're floating up in the sky. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This just in. People all over America are floating into space. It's Wolfer, on location in space. Senator, how can you voice this bad idea on the American people? I may voice it, but they second it. Mr. Speaker, I propose we reinstate the law of gravity. Aye. 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 What's Wolfer here? The Senate and everyone in America are plummeting toward the Earth. Amendment! Amendment! I hope you learned your lesson. Mr. Speaker, I propose we repeal the second law of thermodynamics.
It's holding that business. What?